Hi everyone, Paul Morbid here, Morbid Team Entertainment and Bullet Repair Philippines. In this video, I'm going to explain to you why you should never use WD-40 to service your cameras. But first, to those who wish to support my channel, remember, on Bullet Repair Philippines FB page, I do have Bullet rubber eye cups, including adapters for vintage lenses, M42, to C-mount, to go into your Bolex H16s, including M39 ring adapters for your vintage lenses, to your Bolex movie cameras. So let's get started. So why is it unwise to use WD-40? on your Bolex cameras, regular 35mm film cameras, and any camera. The reason is this. WD-40 is petroleum based. And any time that you purchase a vintage camera of any sort, or you simply haven't used your camera in decades, all the lubricants within have collected dust, dirt, and tiny film particles within side the shutter and other parts and the gears their old lubricants have collected this as well over the decades so those old lubricants will have to be removed during a CLA cleaned lube and adjustment and new lubricants applied in order for the cameras to work smoothly and not lock up the number one mistake novice camera service people make is putting spring rather WD-40 randomly inside these cameras. It may work for a week, maybe a week and a half, but after that time, being it's petroleum based, the WD-40, it's going to solidify, mix in with the old lubricants in the cameras or even if your camera is clean it's still going to solidify and give you problems like lockups operating slow also there are other gears and parts within these cameras that do not need lubrication to begin with so let's get into that we're looking inside of a Bolex 816 reflex here in the film gate area, where my pencil eraser is, there's a metal plate right here. Under this metal plate are gears. Metal gears with the... Really, there's one gear. And it's made of plastic. It does not need lubrication. Some lubricants that you purchase do have a chemical or chemicals in there that deteriorate plastic over time. This was a big problem back in the day when I owned a VCR repair shop. We ordered certain gear grease, and that gear grease company owned the parts company. So it was a win-win situation for them. Every six months, VCRs would come back with broken cam gears and loading gears. And it was finally determined and found out that the chemicals in the grease would make the plastic gears break. Also, WD-40 will damage certain parts of the inside of these cameras, in any camera. Moving on. We're now looking on the inside of a Bolex D8L, as seen here by my pencil eraser. These two spools, the supply and take up, have small leather pad washers, if you will. If you get oil on those, especially WD-40, then those things are ruined. Another reason not to use WD-40 in here. And there's also different gears and mechanisms that do not need it. It will make this camera lock up. Moving on. We're now looking on the inside of a Bolex P2 Reflex 8mm movie camera. Same thing applies. You with the supply and take-up reels under this plate, there are leather 
washers, WD-40, will destroy those as well as any other oil. But you don't want to put that stuff on there. Also, the gears do not need WD-40 as well. Also in these pocket 8mm Bolex cameras is a rubber roller right here at the end of my pencil eraser. WD-40 will definitely ruin that. So that's why you don't want to use that product. Not everything in a camera needs lubrication. Not all the gears do. Some do, some don't. This comes with experience. Moving on. Next is this Zenit 35mm camera body. I use this one just simply for demonstration. I don't personally use this. WD-40 will definitely ruin the mirror. The inside operations here. Take a look inside. In the film compartment area. And of course anything back here is just going to ruin it including the glass. You don't want to put that stuff in there. Again, it's petroleum based, the WD-40. It is not a product for servicing cameras. Unless there are some exceptions. If you're in the know, you're extremely skilled, then you can apply it to certain parts of the cameras. And I'll explain that. So let's say you're servicing your cameras for yourself or customers and you don't want to keep wasting your expensive lubricants that you purchased. You simply need to test the cameras. All right. In doing so in testing the cameras that I get for myself and for customers, I use the Singer sewing machine oil. I use that. That's one. Next is, of course, the three in one or the four in one. This also helps some of the rust. Removing rust is a different avenue of in a situation, as we all know. It takes quite a bit more to do that properly. Next. And the best thing to use when you finally gotten your camera serviced and it's ready to go back to the customer and you, or yourself is weapons grease and weapons oil. If you're a knowledgeable service technician in cameras with years of experience, most everyone knows you're going to use weapons grease. It's also great for vintage movie cameras due to the high speed motors, the spring motors inside. They're very much like that of a vintage spring clock. Basically the same thing, which is why also some clock service people, the vintage clocks, also service Bolex cameras. You can also use, for that matter, Clock oil, it's also good. Very sturdy oil. So how do you apply these oils and the grease? Well, the grease, of course, you simply do so with a paintbrush. You can do that, a Q-tip. Being careful with those. Any of the Shamos tip cloths, but the oil is another story. In testing, how would you apply these oils? Simply for testing, or the weapons oil. <clears throat> there are tools to do so, and let's take a look. So how do you get this oil, or any oil for that matter, from the bottle to the camera. We have tools, of course. If you like to invest in these, remove the cap on this one, just like so. And at the very end, if you look closely, right in here, there's a brass tip. 
it's actually flat and you apply the oil from the bottle onto here and then apply it inside to the mechanics just a touch of oil for wherever it's needed because of course what you never want to do you don't want to take this oil or any oil and just douse it inside randomly inside the cameras that would cause more problems for sure next so what is a cheaper alternative than buying tools well on anyone's workbench has been doing this a good number of years here's your answer toothpicks on anyone uh, service person's experience bench are going to be lots of toothpicks as well as the cotton swab and you can simply take a drop of oil from here any one of your oils apply it to the tip of the toothpick and then apply that to somewhere like your, the back of your Bolex H16 turret to make it rotate quite a bit more smoothly. Just as so. Moving on. So I did say that there are some exceptions where you can use WD-40 on your camera servicing. This is for those service people who are very experienced. And how do you do that? Well, simply take a cotton swab and you spray the WD-40 onto the cotton swab, of course, and apply that to the area. But you have to know as a service person where to add this and where not to. WD-40 is essentially not suggested for camera repair. It is an outstanding product for automotive repair, for loosening screws and stuff like that, but not in camera repair. There are other ways to do that. Do check out one of my videos. I can I'd probably put the link down below as far as uh, some screws that I had on my H16 on the viewfinder that I had to remove and you'll see how I did that. Next and last but not least do not use WD-40 on your lenses or even your vintage lenses just that's a no-no don't do that at all. Use your weapons grease that's the best thing and the best on the market probably would be slipstream weapons grease and weapons oil and uh, I have worked with um, a retired talent manager for Star Wars actors. I was also a personal photographer for the late actor Dave Prouse, who wore the costume of Vader for the films of 1977 to 1983. And I took some photos for his books, Straight from the Force's Mouth, Volumes 1 and 2. I've been in the entertainment business 47 years. Half of that has been in the motion picture business. I make experimental horror films and I've been working on cameras, VCRs and other components, electronics, devices such as this for years. So the thing is, don't use WD-40, flat out. If you're very inexperienced, best not to even have this stuff on your table. It's a great product for automotive. And in the house, stopping squeaking doors and loosening screws in automotive situations, but not on camera repair. Do hit that subscribe button, like, share, and comment. And thanks for watching.
Paul Moore with Morbid Team Entertainment in Bullets Repair Philippines. See ya!